we're beginning today's sitting just want to spend a moment uh, tuning into the breath and establishing your lovely long three-phase breath and bring yourself to a comfortable seat i'm sitting in virasana with the bolster between the knees you might prefer a cross leg or even sitting on a chair but bring the bowl of the pelvis to neutral find the sit bones feel the little a little arch in the back of the waist and more importantly feel the space through the front of the body and the difference between this seat and one like this where we're sitting on the tailbone everything's collapsed in roll the pelvis forwards a little and notice how the heart just lifts bring the back of the head in line with the sacrum let the eyes close and the hands rest on the legs Take a moment now to do nothing at all, just to feel. Can you feel your breath? Where do you feel it? Recognize how it is in this moment. And as you feel that connection to your breath, begin to deepen it slowly now, one breath at a time, let it grow. Just expanding in the belly as you breathe in and contracting gently as you're breathing out. You can use the hands on the belly to help you feel that. No rush. Notice the turning points of the breath the end of the exhale, the end of the inhale. And let those places be, don't rush through them. Start to feel the breath expand into the ribs. Again, you could use your hands to help you feel that or just leave the hands resting in the legs. So if we can, as we exhale, we're trying to empty from the belly first and then the ribs. It sort of feels like you're keeping the passageway open for the breath to empty from the bottom through the middle, then the top. We fill the lungs from the bottom. And feel the rib cage is opening in all directions. It's not just the front of the body. It's not just the sides right into the back. Begin to feel this breath now moving right up to the top of the lungs, into the chest, really the upper back as well. And as you next breathe out, let the head drop down. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Let the head get heavy. And as you breathe in, roll the head over towards one shoulder. Just take your time and follow your breath, exhaling, roll the head around and down. And keep going with this movement through to the other shoulder. So as we move in this way, let the breath lead you. Feel it from the inside. And let go of feeling that this movement has to be any particular thing and let it be what you need pausing along the way or moving back and forth through any point notice what you're holding where is that tension held just about one more breath here now And then let the head come around and down and take the hands around behind your head, your elbows drawing in towards each other, down towards the earth. Just loosely interlace the fingers and take a breath here with that little bit of weight on the back of the head. As you breathe out, gently draw the head in a little more. Then on your inhale, let the head lift, let the elbows open wide. So holding really the base of your skull, Breathe out here. 
and feel the next three phase breath open the body. Now, as we exhale, we release, let the hands come on down to the earth. Let's come over onto our feet. So shifting from your seat, draw whatever you were sitting on out in front of you and put your hands on it. So we kind of come to like a half Uttanasana with the hands on our props, lengthen the body, breathing into that. As you breathe out, soften the backs of the knees, let your body drop on down over the legs. And take another breath here, a three phase breath. And then bend the knees even more. We're going to start to roll our way up slowly, dangling the arms, the head, perhaps bringing a sway or a little lifting and lowering through one and then the other shoulder. You know, keep breathing listening and feeling in. And eventually, when we get to the top, we'll breathe in, open arms wide to the sky, reach up, gather it in now, draw it down to the third eye, to the heart, and let the head go, let the knees go, let the arms go and start to roll on back down again. You might pause along the way, those places where you need it, Dropping right on into that Uttanasana a little deeper, hips higher now. Good breathing here. Bring the hands to your props once more and breathe in, lifting the heart, the head, lengthening the front body. Now I'll just shift the props, whatever they are, out of the way, off the mat and come down to your hands and knees. Now stay with your breath breathe in and lift into cow pose so feel that all the way to the end of the inhale and then exhale round into cat and do this a couple of times with your own breath and let whatever movement comes be so there might be a little wagging of the tail a movement forwards or back or even a circling Close the eyes, go into your body, feel the firm roots. And the flow of the breath guiding you from one place to the next. And with the next inhale, root the left hand down and lift the right arm now gently, opening towards the right. Breathe out, bring it in under the body. A kneeling twist here, coming down to the shoulder and head if it's not too much. Otherwise, just stay higher. And that's good, too. It's different. Breathe here. Focus, as it should be in yoga, is all on that breath. And with the next breath in, We'll bring the arm out of there. That's it, back to the sky. Breathe out, bring it down, hand to the earth. Next inhale takes the left arm up. In and under as we exhale. So arm coming in past that right wrist. Go into what's held here. And with the next inhale, unwind, opening the arm to the sky. Exhale, and the hands out ahead of you, crawl back a little. Inhale, so we've created a little space between the hands and knees. And as we exhale now, pull the hips back over the knees, draw the lower belly in, keep the hands really firm opening the shoulders and upper back. Now come forwards, either really lunar on your knees, forearms to the earth, or as you shift forwards, lift your knees. 
and take a moment to strengthen this forearm plank. Bring the back of the head in line with your sacrum. So just as we did when we were sitting or when we were standing, align the body. Let the legs come on down. Breathe in. Here we are in upward puppy. Pointing the toes back. Imagine you're pulling your arms towards you. Lift through the heart. Now come on down. Bring the hands to the earth under the shoulders. As we rise in cobra, hug the elbows in. Draw the shoulders back. Lengthen and releasing the neck. Now lift through the middle. Feel the core strength. And then pull back. Let's just stay here for a second. Toes curled under in this extended child's pose. Breathe in, round the back forwards through cat. Breathe out, cow pose on our way to downward dog. Lifting through the lower belly, you might need a little more distance between the hands and the feet. Now we're going to bring our feet together. Breathe in and let the right leg lift. Now feel as you breathe in, there's a beginning a middle and an end to the movement. And as we breathe out and step through, again, there's that beginning, middle, an end to the stepping through. Fingertips on the earth. Inhale, coiling, gathering, bowing the head. As you exhale into your lunge, feel the beginning, the middle, and the end of the breath and the movement. Now bring the back foot to the earth. We're rising in warrior one. Feel yourself rise through the beginning, the middle, the end of that inhale. And as we exhale, draw the hands down to the heart. Walk the front foot a little bit across to the left as we turn and open out to warrior two. Now, reverse warrior. Inhale, right arm to the sky, left hand to the back leg or the hip, or even behind the back if it feels good. Exhale, circle the arm across your body down to the right leg and lift the left arm up and over to side angle. Now inhale, sweep the arm across the body and back to warrior two. As we exhale, draw the back arm, bend it around behind your head, and turn down into a lunge. Inhale, step into plank. Now as we exhale, go slow, lower, through the beginning, the middle, the end. Rise in your choice of back bend. Feel the beginning, the middle, and the end. And as we travel back to downward dog, lift through the middle, settling all the way to the end of that breath, step the feet together. Inhale, let the left leg rise. Exhale, step through and feel the beginning, the middle, and the end of the stepping through. Now gather, inhaling, coiling like cat pose. Exhale, feel the lunge, extending, lowering, and lifting through the heart and the back leg. Bring the back foot to the earth for warrior one. Inhale, rising, beginning, middle, end. As we exhale, draw the hands in prayer to the heart. Wiggle the front foot across a little bit to line up with the back foot. And open the arms out wide to warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. As we exhale, sweep the left arm across the body, land it on the left leg, keep breathing out, let the right arm float up, over to side angle. Now inhale, sweep it down across the body, pull back to warrior two. As we exhale, that right arm bends, and you're gonna sweep the palm around the back of your head as you come to your lunge. Inhale, step into plank, lower. Exhale, beginning, middle, end. Your back bend. Inhale, beginning, middle, end. Exhale, flow back, beginning, middle, end. Bring the feet together. We're going to keep this going. Right leg rising, beginning, middle. It's still going. 
all the way to the end. Exhale, beginning to step through, middle, and plant the roots. Inhale, rising, beginning to warrior one, middle, and now exhale, hands draw to the heart, set the feet, exhaling all the way to warrior two. Inhale, slow, reverse warrior, beginning, middle, and exhale, sweep the arm across to the right leg. Keep going and lift the left arm over to side angle. Down across the body as we inhale, back to warrior two. And this time as we exhale, we bring that back arm over, that's the beginning. Let the middle be plank and the end of the breath, chaturanga. Rising, your back bend, beginning, middle, end. Back to downward dog, exhale. And as the feet come together, we inhale, left leg rising, beginning, middle, end, feel the peak, exhale, draw it through, beginning, middle, end, plant the back foot, rising warrior one, beginning, middle, end, as we exhale, the hands draw to the heart, the feet set up, Open it out, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior beginning, middle, end. Exhale, heading for side angle, beginning, middle. And at the end, we feel that alignment. Inhale, back to warrior two. Now exhale, draw the back arm over the head. Keep breathing out, step to plank. Keep breathing out, lower, chaturanga. Breathing in, rising. Breathing out, draw back. Smooth, even movements, just like the breath. Feet together, right leg. Inhale, beginning, middle, end. Exhale, step through, beginning, middle, end. Feet on the earth for warrior one. Inhale, rising. Exhale, gathering to the heart, setting the feet. Keep breathing out as we open the arms, warrior two. Breathing in, reverse warrior, beginning middle, and exhale for side angle, beginning, maybe the arm inside the leg, middle, and feel that side angle. Now sweep the arm down, inhale, rising to warrior two. Feel the end, and then bring the arm over, exhale to our lunge, the plank, still breathing out, chaturanga. Inhale, eyes in your back bend. Exhale, smooth journey back to downward dog. Last time, feet together, left leg. Inhale, rising, beginning, middle, and exhale, beginning, step through, middle, and feel the earth. Inhale. Warrior one, rise, beginning, middle, and exhale, beginning, middle, ending, and warrior two, reverse warrior, inhale, beginning, middle, and exhale, beginning to head to side angle, middle, and Inhale to warrior two, beginning, middle, and exhale, we head for the earth, beginning, middle, and 
Inhale, rising, your back bend beginning. Middle, end. Exhale, beginning. Middle, end. Stay with the breath, downward dog. Walk the feet halfway up the mat. Bring the hands over the feet to the shins as we breathe in. Feel that half lift beginning, middle, end. Exhale, bow, beginning, middle, end into Uttanasana, deep. Bend the knees, breathe in, rising on this one inhale. Hold all the way up, open to the sky. Exhale, gather it. Hands together, exhaling. Hands to the heart, Tadasana. Take the feet a little bit wider, turn them out a tiny bit, and feel this inhale, the arms opening, beginning, middle. And at the end, they reach their peak. As we exhale, we come towards a squat, beginning, middle, end, towards the earth. Now, find your squat, your movement here. This can flow. This could be sitting on the earth. This could be just deep in that squat. Stay with your breath. Listen into the little areas of your body and don't ignore the little tweaks. And at the end of your breath, make your way towards the earth. We'll take our legs out ahead of us. We'll sit with the legs extended. We'll come up halfway up our mat. Let's breathe in. Take the arms up to the sky. And as we breathe out, bow forwards. We can bend the knees a little bit here if we like. Breathe into the back of the body. Feel that wave of breath lift you a little bit. Lengthen and then bow, exhale. And stay with that slow, full breath. And on the next inhale, let the breath roll you up to sitting. And as we exhale, Arms ahead of us, roll on down. So we feel the beginning, the middle, and the end of that exhale. As we inhale, turn the palms up and open them wide around the body. Stretch overhead. Breathe out and gather the right knee into the body. Inhale, the right arm out to the side. Draw the leg across to the left, exhale. Go to the breath. If you'd like to add on a little bit here, does it feel inviting to bend the left leg and hold that foot with the right hand? As so you go to a deeper place like this, or perhaps maybe straightening the left leg, Stay with the breath and that feeling of inquiry rather than imposing a shape on the body. Feel your edge where it's adding to the sense of letting go rather than bringing more tension in. Whenever you feel ready on an inhale, just wind it on back to the middle. 
And as we exhale, let's swap it. Bring the left leg in. Open the left arm out to the side, inhale. So even here, the breath takes the control. We take the leg across as we exhale. The rhythm is the breath. So on this side now, listen in, breathe. And if it feels inviting, <clears throat> bend the right leg, hold the foot. Let that draw the left shoulder back. You could go one step further and straighten or partially straighten the left leg. My foot has found a wall and it's working really well <laughs> to let the foot be against the wall. So use what happens to be there for you. Whenever you're ready, release back to the center on an inhale. And as we exhale, let's bring both knees into the body. So a little rock here in Subta Baddha Kanasana, holding the ankles or feet or not. Just letting the legs do their thing. Lift the feet up. Again, you can hold your feet for happy baby or just let them be in the air on their own. Or a little bit of both. Then drop the feet to the earth in Baddha Konasana as you lift the arms up and overhead. As the feet meet the earth, let the arms relax wide. Soften. Feel that breath once more. And at the very end of the breath, let the knees come up, separate the feet, hip width, knees drop in against each other, hands to the body, let go of controlling the breath. And from here, either roll to your side and gather what you need for Shavasana, or just empty directly onto the earth. Perhaps even just a little cushion under your head. Get warm and cozy. Bring in those supports underneath your body that you need and then adjust things so that they feel symmetrical. And then feel yourself settle. Get a sense of the ground beneath you your body dropping into that support as you let your breath now come and go on its own.
Let the awareness move deeper inside. There's somewhere inside where you can feel the movement of your breath. Go there now. Now let go of even watching the breath. Letting go of all effort now. Allow yourself to just be. Now, repeat your own positive affirmation three times, or simply repeat to yourself now three times, I am enough. Take one more deeper breath in. And as you breathe out into the back of the waist to the earth, roll the kneecaps towards the sky. And on the next exhale, bend one leg, bring the foot to the bolster or the earth. And then the other leg, roll to your side.
take your time and come up as you feel ready. Then, once you find your seat, let the palms face up a little away from you. Close the eyes. Notice how you feel. Let the hands come together at the heart center, bow the head, and bring to mind something you feel grateful for. Now let's take a big breath in, open the arms wide, stretch up overhead. As we exhale, gather the hands down to the third eye, the heart center, and the earth. Namaste. Thank you.